Now in prolapse, we have a portion of the mitral valve which protrudes into the left atrium. It almost appears as if there is some kind of a hill or a mountain here which kind of is looking towards you. Another example, it's clear to see that the posterior leaflet is flail here. The leaflet is also thickened. And here is the flail part right here in the middle of the posterior leaflet. For review purposes, this is the anterior leaflet A, this is medial, this is posterior, and this is lateral. And here we have P3, P2, and P1. So it's P2 which is involved. A patient who has a jet coming from the posterior medial commissure right here, another jet is coming from here, a patient who had endocarditis in its history. This is the corresponding 3D image. Look how nicely you can see the destructed posterior medial commissure here and also the anterolateral commissure. So there's probably some rupture or torn cordia or torn leaflets right here, which explain the jet very nicely. Again, a nice way of displaying the problem. What about this patient here? Well, here you have the four chamber view and there is a very small little chordal structure which is protruding into the left atrium. So very difficult to detect, but truly there is a flay leaflet here. And if you look closely, you can see that as well here in the 3D image very nicely. Where is it located? Probably somewhere between P2 and P1, somewhere in that region here. What about this patient here? Here we have a 2D image as a reference. The patient also had endocarditis at some point, and this is probably a torn chordal structure or maybe even the remnants of a vegetation. Here is the structure again in 3D echocardiography, and we see that there are actually two such structures on the mitral valve.